ever come, we actually came up with it as a complete accident. We were actually handling the deer on the farm in the fall, and we were sorting the does and the fawns and, and kind of just going through herd maintenance. And our worker was actually holding the deer physically in the squeeze so we could check tags and medicate and vaccinate all day long. And he wanted to go out bow hunting that night, and we got done late. So he only had about 45 minutes to actually get out before it was dark. So he grabbed his bow and he was going to head out of the barn. I said, well, hold on, aren't you going to change in your hunting clothes, aren't you? And he said, I don't have time to do that. And I said, but you got grease, you got gasoline smells, you got all the farm smells from equipment all over you. And he said, ah, I'll just get out there for a little bit. I only have a few minutes. So he left. Well, a little bit later, he calls me on my cell phone. I'm thinking, okay, he either got one or he's back up to the barn. And he says, I got deer all around me. And he says, they won't even leave. He says, they're looking at me, talking to you on the cell phone. I said, well, then why are you calling me? He says, it doesn't matter, they won't leave. And it hit me and I said, well, you stink like a herd of deer. And I said, it was just like a light bulb went on, click. The best cover scent, calming scent you can use are deer smells themselves. We actually collect all of the smells out of a bedding area from fawns, does, and bucks. And we mix it all together so you have a pure, real herd smell of white-tailed deer. They're attracted to each other, they're attracted to new deer, and they want to hold in the area where they know other deer are at because they already realize that's the safe area to be.